Hello good morning friends welcome back to your favorite channel code and digest today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to write a python code to upload file to s3 bucket what are the prerequisite to write a python code how can we use im user permissions and the user access key and secret to upload or download file into s3 bucket so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very exciting and very informative tutorial if you want to learn python and if you want to learn how to write a python code to access s3 bucket then this is a tutorial for you i'll teach you how to create a user for s3 bucket how to grant a permission to that user to access s3 bucket and then we'll use user access key and secret in our program to the upload and download operation right friends so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very exciting and very informative tutorial today friends in previous tutorial i explained you how to set up s3 bucket from scratch if you want to know how to set up s3 bucket in aws cloud then go and watch this previous tutorial the link is given in in the description section of this video if you are new to aws cloud if you are new to s3 bucket then this is a tutorial for you which will tell you how can you set up s3 bucket from scratch and start using it okay friends so now we have created bucket and inside the bucket we have this file uploaded now what we'll do is we'll create a im user to access this file okay so let's go to im search for im service and then you will land on this im dashboard here on the user click on create user to create a desired user here i'll say s3 bucket test user right and then i'll say next at the bottom right corner so i'll just say next will create the policy resource policy later and then review and create user name is s3 bucket test user permissions will add later say create user right so s3 bucket user is created now next what we'll do is we'll create a policy and then we'll attach that policy into this user so we'll go to the policies here create a policy if you have a, a policy created json then that you can paste it here directly let's try to do visually select s3 here all s3 actions read write permission tagging right resources specific grant all and request condition next policy name s3 bucket test policy permission full access full resource create policy right so now you can search s3 bucket yeah so this is your policy now what we'll do is we'll attach that policy into this user go to the user permissions add permission policy add permissions attach policy directly so here we can say s3 bucket so this is our policy that we have created and say next and click add permissions so the policy got added to that user now you can see in this user we have this permission s3 bucket policy and this policy says x s3 bucket full access all resources right so this is the permissions that we have if it want json so this is the json version of it allow action s3 star resource star okay so this is a policy that we have created now what we'll do is we'll create user access key and secret for this user so that we can use to access it now security credentials 
create access key so come inside the user so let's go inside the user click on the security credential come down to create access key create access key here click on create access key use case command line local code application running in aws third party service application running outside aws others so i'll say third party because we may want to use the credential in other application who wants to access our s3 bucket right which is running outside aws infra as well right so i understand click next description tag value s3 bucket access key create access key so this is my access key let's say i'm copying this and secret i'll copy that you should keep this safe because this is critical you should not expose these to anyone otherwise they will have access to your resources right so now we have access key and access secret now we'll try to access our s3 bucket let's let us do that friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming and coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i am not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you okay friends so as we have seen how to create i am user to access s3 bucket we have generated the access key access key secret to access our s3 bucket now we will use that access key and secret in our program in python program to upload the file to s3 bucket okay so let me take you to the code first that is in my visual studio code okay so this is s3 upload.python this is the file that i have created and it has first line as a import boto3 so this library we have to import because this will help us in creating a session and connectivity to s3 bucket it has all the libraries required to access s3 bucket i am printing few statements and i am initializing the session object now you would see there are two variables here i have defined access key and secret access key so this variable uh, you have to initialize with the value of access key and secret key that you have saved earlier right and then the next line is we are initializing a session for s3 so we are getting an object of s3 and then this is a file name that i want to upload right and s3.meta.client.upload file is a function that is used to upload a file so now it takes three parameters the file name the absolute path of the file the source file that we want to upload the bucket name and key in the key it's a target location in the file name okay so key is a third attribute in this function which will be the location in your bucket so inside your bucket you would have multiple folder structures so if you don't give this it will be placing the file at the root of your bucket and if you have folder structure created inside your bucket then you can give that here and it is a relative path starting from the root of the bucket so you give that and then i'm logging a statement if it is successfully uploaded and so on right so now let me run this program and we'll see if the file is uploaded but before that let us see what is the status of my bucket in aws okay this is the bucket what i have let me run this program i am in the directory where my program is python s3 upload.py as i run this so it is printing then initializing the session object session object created successfully start uploading the file and successfully uploaded the file so it says that file is uploaded to s3 bucket successfully now let us see if the file is successfully uploaded in s3 bucket i am into my s3 bucket in that folder location let's refresh this yes so i can see that file is loaded on september 13 10:58 this is the time right 
just now the file is uploaded so so this is very easy very simple way to upload or download the file using the im user that you have created with the appropriate permissions if you remember we have created im user and we have attached a resource policy in that policy we have given a permission to read and write to the s3 bucket a specific s3 bucket right so with that permissions i am able to upload the file into s3 bucket through a program now you can do any operation by writing a python script to upload or to download a file or to get the content of the bucket to list the content of the bucket and so on so based on your business requirement you can create a program this is just a proof of concept to upload or download file into s3 bucket by using im user access key and secret right friends i hope you like this video and if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and do like share and subscribe our channel to grow code one digest family thank you friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you